Yeah, so chip check is a product that we've invented uh, after uh, finding out uh, a problem in the industry that when uh, turbines start to degrade, mainly gearbox and bearings, uh, these failure modes generate a lot of particles and uh, these particles you need to have an investigation of what these materials are and the typical process is to send that off to a laboratory and from that you get an answer of what the material is so you can know what part of your engines are failing and that can take a lot of time and so what we wanted to do is to bring that capability at the flight line for you with chip check. And so the steps are quite simple. From the magnetic plug uh, you get some particles and what we do is four steps to get you the results. You clean those particles and then you put them on this patch, a chip check patch. From there you have all these materials and we put it right here into chip check and all you have to do is create an analysis. From there you can input some tailored information to your need. You can track it by serial number, you can say where you collected these particles and you can see the reason for this analysis. All of this data is tailored to your needs and can be implemented in your system so that you can keep history. All you have to do from there is hit start. From here you see the chip is going inside the machine and the machine will do an analysis in two steps. First, the machine needs to know how many particles there are and where they are located. So to do this, chip check takes an image of this patch that we've put in and it will count the particles. Once it knows how many particles and where they are, it will hit it with a laser. And the laser inside of ChipCheck uh, uh, utilizes a technology called LIBS, Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy. It's the same technology they use on the Mars rover to analyze what the rocks are. And for now, as you can see, ChipCheck is doing this analysis right now. You can see all the chips, it found them. Right now there's seven, and now, the result's already done. So what typically would take you three days, took me just four minutes and four little steps. From there, you can see that we found some silver, some ferrous material, and some M50, which would result into a grounding of your aircraft. So you can know that within minutes at the flight line. Once the unit ejects the result, you can uh, come here and see the report. And all that report was generated automatically. No need for an admin people to do some quick work. And then from there, you see all the results, you see the size, and so you go into your maintenance manual to know uh, what action you need to take from those results. All of this is stored so that you can have traceability and show your FSRs and OEM what is happening with the engine in the field.